welcome back. We're talking about ratio analysis. And so far, we've gone through the different types of ratios and an overview of what you'd find in annual reports. Now we're going to look at an example or a sample of a financial analysis problem. Here we're giving a bunch of ratios. And if you look at the first two, the current ratio and the acid or quick test, we know that those are ratios that have to do with liquidity. And we can also see that from year one to year two and year two to year three, that the current ratio is increasing and that the acid test ratio is decreasing. So if we look at question A, which has to do with the liquidity, it says the current ratio is increasing while the acid test or quick ratio is decreasing. Using the ratios provided, identify and explain the contributing factor for this apparent divergent trend. And you'll remember that the current ratio is current assets over current liabilities, whereas the quick ratio is the quick assets, which are current assets minus inventory and prepaids. In other words, they're what's left are the uh, cash, marketable securities, accounts receivable that are readily converted to cash to meet those current liabilities. So the only thing that's different between the current ratio, which is increasing, in its trend. And remember to have a trend, you need at least three years to have an opinion on what the, the ratios are doing. So the trend is up for current ratio, whereas the quick ratio, the trend is down. And the only difference is inventory. So what's the culprit? Inventory is growing. So that would be uh, a way to answer part A. Looking at Part B, it says, in terms of the ratios provided, what can be drawn regarding use of financial leverage? And financial leverage is looking at the coverage ratios. And you'll remember the coverage ratio is debt to assets or total liabilities over total assets. And as you can see, the trend is a decreasing or declining trend. So that means. Um, so let's see what that means in a second. And long-term debt to total assets, or long-term liabilities over total assets, is also declining. So in both of these cases, um, there's less borrowing. So therefore, less borrowing, there's less debt. Because both of those ratios, the numerators, are getting smaller uh, relative to the denominators. The other thing that that points to is return on common stockholders' equity. Because return on common stockholders' equity is net income over shareholders' equity. So if total liabilities are decreasing in their proportionality to assets, that means shareholders' equity is increasing. And you can see that happening because the trend is down when we look at return on common shareholders' equity, which means shareholders' equity is growing relative uh, to the growth in net income. So that's one insight as far as return on common shareholders' or stockholders' equity. The last question says, using ratios provided, what conclusion can be drawn about the company's net investment in plant and equipment? And these are two new ratios, so if these are new, we need to look at how we compute them. So if I look at sales to fixed assets or fixed asset turnover, I'm looking at sales over uh, property, plant, and equipment. And I can see that sales, the numerator, is increasing over time. So the sales, the numerator is increasing, and but this uh, sales to fixed assets is also increasing over time, which means that sales is going up 
faster than property, plant, and equipment. So what can I say regarding our net investment in property, plant, and equipment? Well, I can say that it's... Um, Sales are growing quicker than uh, my reinvestment in property, plant, and equipment. So is that a good thing in the long run? Probably not because you need to renew your property, plant, and equipment over time in order to keep generating um, sales based on the most efficient and effective equipment. But right now, the trend, as you can see, sales is up and thus sales to fixed assets um, is also up, but that's primarily due to probably sales rather than property, plant, and equipment. So I hope you found this helpful uh, in doing some basic analysis.